Um, hi. Um, I'm gonna make a confession in this video about a really bad habit I have. Okay. See, I tend to eat and drink a lot usually, and when I do this, I usually leave the empty box or pitcher or carton empty in the fridge or cupboard. Which really pisses my fan. Can I say that I blame them? No. I mean, think about it. You see the pitcher there, or the carton, and think like, oh, there's still some food left. Let's go eat it. Oh, there's none left. You know, how annoying is that? Okay, let's see what we have for lunch today. Um, oh, juice, um, empty. Strike one, Sean. All right, oh, how about some peanut butter? Well, I might add some honey with my tea. Doritos! Oh no, this is full. This is full of lettuce. Sean! He's at school! Oh, he is so lucky. He is so lucky. I mean, that's the bad part. Like a Dorito thing? I actually do that. I replace food with other food. How I really don't know why I do it. I feel like, you know, I want to eat something, but I know I can't eat enough of that right now. I'm not even hungry. I think I just like the taste of it. The thing is, I'm not that fat. Am I? Not fat. No? Yeah. That's a weird thing. There's a lot of teenagers out there like me who do this. And, yeah, and guys, I know we think that we get away with it, but as I'm showing in this video, we really don't get away with it. A lot. Most of the time. I mean, think about it. If you come into the fridge and you see something good, like, say, Doritos, and you start eating them. Oh, take a nice big chip out and start eating it. Then you realize, oh wait, I'm not supposed to be eating this stuff right now because my parents told me not to. So you replace it with something else without even thinking about the fact that they'll find it later. And then maybe make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with your hands and tongue. And you put the jar back without thinking about the fact that your parents are going to see the level of food going down inside the jar. Sometimes you put it on the side so it'll make, like, look, make it look like there's a lot of stuff still. Mm, then you maybe get some fruits and you eat them and you put the peels back so it makes it look like there's still a lot of fruits like the grapes. Um, but when they go eat it, they find nothing but one big disgusting mess. Sometimes we're too lazy to even hide the evidence, like with granola bars. I just take it out and think like, well, my parents will accept me if I eat a granola bar, right? I mean, they love me, and I'm their son, so, yeah. That's not the worst of it. Oh, no, no, it gets much worse. My worst problem is chocolates, or sweets, you know? You know those little sweets that come in those little boxes with the wrappers, and they're all, like, organized in that line and everything? That... Oh, God, I am horrible. Many chocolates in one place. You take one, and then you go back later and take another one. You shuffle them around to make it look like they're still a lot, even though there's a lot less. Then maybe you take a few more, and it becomes harder and harder to spread them out to make it look like there's still a lot. Eventually, you take too many, and there's simply not enough chocolates or sweets left to hide the evidence that you stole it. I do that. It's horrible. I'm trying to stop. Having no success. Um, a question for you guys. Um, am I the only person that does this kind of stuff? Because i really like to know, and I'd feel a bit less guilty if more people do it. Um, please leave a comment. And if you aren't someone that does this, um, what do you think of this? Do, am I some disgusting freak or, or what?